turn me up. I want let be live, but I swear it's not easy. My baby rapping, my old man and girl, the man care we're doing. I'm breaking the problem. On my way, people calling me names. All the trouble I see, I endure the peace. When the suffering, the sources I can't pay the poor. Only how I get paid. Sooner or later, my hustle will pay. Let me let pay, and I'm rushing myself. Keep it cool, everything have a CC. Too much rushing, I probably chase it. One day, one day, one day, one day, one day. one day, one day, so I said, gonna come away. Yeah. My Oma was so was you. My Papa was so was you. My friend, I was your money. Any mess that will come with that miss. Do you know what I'm gonna be? 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 So, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, I feel the proof. Why you know you hustle? Why sign the proof of the genesis? Shall come into fire, shall come into power. I feel I be working on witnesses. In my love for the mind, in my love for the mind. All in the dark, all in the dark, all in the weak, all in the weak, all in the sun. I'm so much you. No for air. I'm so much you. My friend, I will give you money. Any mess that will come on that miss. Don't you love me? Gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, welcome to Tony Commander J.R. Kapokwa Chesson Talk Show. We begin the week today. We begin the week today with a with a cool, cool, cool low 40s in Providence, Rhode Island. Highs today may be up to mid 50s. The cloud will be around for a while, then they'll dissipate, and maybe we have some sun later on during the day. Whatever it is, enjoy yourself, take heed, and govern yourselves accordingly. Now, the big thing in the news this morning is about cell phones and our children using them, having them on them during the school time. Many schools throughout the country are now requiring students to lock their phones up when they come to school. 
no food during school. And many parents are joyful because of this. They're seeing that their children grades have increased, the discipline is better, the attention span is longer, but there are still mixed feelings about this. Some parents are saying, oh, what if there's an emergency and, and there's a school shooting or something like that? How would the children be able to call their parents and, and notify people? And then, you know, different mixed, with it, mixed feelings. But on the whole, people agree with this. Because a lot of children get lost with their cell phones. Too much distraction. And people think, that enough is enough. There's a time for your cell phone and there's a time for school. When the time for school, put the cell phones away. Okay, we're going to take care of the mass shooting and all of that. We're going to increase the security and all of that, but we want the children to also learn at the same time. Okay, enough with the cell phones. Okay, I was working with this girl in the security area. She was, I was a chaperone teaching her the job. This girl was on the cell phone the whole while. You know, I was like, how will you do security work and you're on the cell phone? You can't be on the cell phone. You got to use your eye to observe, to be alert. Your life depends on it. So we got to start disciplining our little children now, letting them know that there's a time for everything. A time for the cell phone, a time for school, a time for bed, a time for learning, a time for playing, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that's it for this morning. Uh, before I think go around, then I go into my lessons for this morning. Kind of interesting, you know. <laughs> Okay, today's topics are Alternative National Congress Standard Bearer, Alexander Cummings' interview, Alexander Cummings' interview on Spoon TV. That was yesterday. Two, Providence City Mayoral Candidate Michael Solomon's Meet and Greet in Providence, Rhode Island. And three, Budaburam Refugee Camp, Liberian Community in Ghana. Let me sip on my coffee. Let's take a break and listen to all the jazzy, jazzy, jazzy things that's going on. And I'll be back. I'll take care of you in a while. All right? Hang in there. Liberian communities and uh, on the podcast on Facebook is the interview that Ella Cummings did on Spoon TV yesterday with Mr. Stanton Weatherspoon. Uh, I listened to the interview. It was a good interview. There were some things that I commented on on the page, on the Facebook page, on the YouTube page. I made my comments there. And um, there were some things he said that bothered me too, because you know, where there is smoke, there is fire. Many, the, many of the rumors you hear, some of them may be exaggerated, exacerbated, but there are some truths in them. You just gotta separate the truth from the BS. So let's go and look at Ella Cummings' interview. Now the whole, that whole interview, it was kind of good. 
you know, Elliot Thomas they were, but I, I got trouble with his point with their meeting in Ghana. Stanley Wellerspoon himself was a, a little caught up on that because he kept asking the question about that. I think he asked him about two or three questions on that, uh, back to back. My point is, of all the places in Liberia to have a secret meeting, why would these people volunteer to go to Ghana to have a secret meeting? Come and say they, they planned it and all that. Why would the party expend such amount to go to Ghana just to continue the, the dialogue of their unity and progress and the, the electoral process and how they're going to handle it? Why would you go away to Ghana to do that? You see, what coming with talking that thing, I was just looking at I said, look at this other liar. You're a liar. You're a damn liar. Because there's no way to a, a coalition fighting to unite itself and bring people together. The two parties, the, the two candidates who are the main candidates in the thing will leave Liberia and travel to Ghana to have a meeting. No, it, it doesn't sound, it, that, that, that don't measure up. That don't measure up to a sensible man. I mean, what was there so pertinent, also conflicting, also detrimental to the party's survival that the standard bearer, two, only two of the standard bearer, what happened to the other two, the four? Only two of them had to go talk about their survival of the party in Ghana. You believe that? That is total, total BS. The Ellie Cummings lied. Because there's no way there's no way of all the places in Liberia they could have this meeting secretly. They would get up and leave Liberia and go to Ghana to have secret meeting. Does that make sense? When we look back at our history and all the meetings they've been having in Nigeria and all these things, it was never about any kind of peace, any kind of one group in Liberia. It was people meeting with international bodies, with international group to decide the fate of Liberia. That's why they travel out of Liberia. And that has been going on from Ellen Jordan City Town, from, from Charles City Town, from the war. They've been going to Ghana, Nigeria to resolve our problems. And every time they go there, they meet with foreigners. They don't go there to talk about Liberia issue on their own. Why would you leave Liberia to go to Ghana to talk about Liberia issue when you could slip away to Basel or, or, or Banga or, or Nima or somewhere like that one night and, and have your meeting there. What's so pertinent that you got to discuss in so bad that it's so secretive that the rest of the Liberian people can't hear you got to go to Ghana. This is a damn lie. And you see, this is the problem with our country and our leaders. You know, they do all these things with their foreign partners people interfering in our country's survival and existence in politics. It kind of cease and desist. We got to punish these people and their foreign partners. We got to punish them. Our country don't run the that. You see why they killed Tower in 1980? Because the shit that going on today would not have, to have happened in the 1980s. It would not have happened. That was they had to get rid of Tower. Because when they eliminate Tobo, they can deal with the ignoramuses like idiots. Push them around, tell them because money is all they see. Money is all they know. They are rogues. When you got a bunch of rogues, money is just show money to them, they go crazy. They start running around, fighting each other, killing each other. That all it is about money. Money just got our country down because we got criminals running our nation. And they know nothing else but money. And LA Comey is just as bad as they are. You know, you go to Ghana to have a meeting, you talk about it. you continue the discussion, the debate about who will be president of the CPP. Are you crazy? Tell those Zogos, that those Zogos that believe that thing. You see? Tell the people that around you, they will have believed that thing. But when you come to tell me that thing, I want to kick you in the gun ass. Because I'm not an idiot. Don't come and talk to me like an idiot. 
I'd rather kick you than go in the ass. So you see, that would mean these people can't agree. That way they can't agree because I don't like all this kind of foolishness. Don't come and play games with me when you're not as smart as you think you are. Don't play games with me. And yet another point now. Uh, Come is not stopping UP but want them to live up to their to, to the agreement. Now, what the hell is that? They asked Cummings, when you brought this case to the Liberian National Election Commission, or oh, what you hope to achieve? You want to stop Boca? He said, no, 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 I don't want to stop Boca, but I want Boca to live <laughs> up to his agreement. What the hell are you talking? So you want Boca to come back to the CPP? Is that what you're saying? Because I didn't understand that the only place you were, you were talking double. I didn't understand that shenanigans you were talking. You either want to stop Borka or you don't want to stop it. You have declared yourself standard bearer of the CPP, the lone standard bearer. You in court trying to stop the other party from using their name to pursue their political ambition. Then you're telling us it's not your intention to stop the man. Well, you just wanted to live up there to the agreement. No, no, that doesn't work well with me. It doesn't make sense. You either want to stop the man or you don't want to stop the man. The man can't live up to the agreement no more. You people have broken down the institution completely. Completely. The animosity, the bitterness, I know the hatred now, the bordering hatred, it's just too bad in this organization for you to put it together now. You're not insult each other. You're not hurt each other. You're not doing all kind of negative things to each other. Then you still want to exist. Then you say you don't want to stop Boca. You just want him to live up to an agreement. What kind of agreement you want him to live up to? That he coming back to the CPP? Huh? That they will not leave with the name? Or what? You got to clarify that aspect, that the aspect you got to clarify for me. Why you, you don't want to stop him, but what, 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 what aspect of the agreement you want him to live up to? Okay, that are the other things. Now, while we're watching the show, there's a just a general call talking about it's not him, and they're coming singing him out, you know, trying to make him look bad, and it's not him, it's the Latino government. Despite the fact that he's doing his job, he's representing the Latino government, he's doing whatever the president tells him to do. Because right now, what they're doing is not justice. It's a market of the system. You see, now they're talking about bringing 17 more witnesses. What? To drag the system on in court past 2023. This will bring violence. It will not happen. This will bring violence. This is a recipe for violence. You know, it's a recipe for violence. And we can't tolerate this thing in our country. You're going to end this case. This, I told you this is a political case. It's not supposed to be in the court. Let these people go and sort their problem out. And the community say he won't stop. Boca. He just won't Boca live up to the agreement. So let them go on the side and deal with their shenanigans and take it out of the courts. Because just, just what Eric Cummings is saying is just what happened in the court. Now, I told you from the beginning, as soon as they started this case, I told you, I said, this was a political case, and the court should not entertain this case. This is an agreement that borders on politics, and the court does not interfere in politics. Let these rusty, crusty old men and women go back and be mature people and solve their own problem. And solve their own problem. You're not getting involved with it. Let them go to the NEC and deal with the NEC. The NEC dealing with them now. Let them go there. And, and, and when, they, when, when they appeal the rulings of the NEC, then the Supreme Court can just finalize it and deal with the final aspect. But to entertain this, these people, shenanigans and crazy political uh, immaturity in our courts will make our court look like a mockery. Like they're derailing the rule of law. This is a political matter.
kick it out of the court and let these immature people go take care of their own damn business and leave the court out of it. Let them go to the NEC to handle the case right now. That's a quasi judicial matter and that's supposed to be in the court. Let the people get out of the courts. So you're embarrassing our courts. You're embarrassing, our, you're, you're derailing our legal system, making it look like a mockery. What you want to do with our country? What you want to do, you can still be elite companies then with us without using our court system to make a mockery out of it. Because this way you will fail. Because when you make a mockery out of the court system, there will really be no justice in our country. There is no justice already. And you're messing with the court system with your politics. This ain't right. It ain't right. And it ain't right. My Liberian people, we got to protest. We got to let these ignoramuses know that our courts are significant to our progress and advancement, our unity and our amalgamation, our identity as a people, to our peaceful means of coexistence. Well, we got to bring this shenanigans to an end. We got to stop it. Our court system is not a system to be played with. Just Jara or whoever you people think you are, you better throw this damn case out and let these immature people go settle their own problems. Okay? I rest my case on that issue. This is what I had to say about this case. One, that meeting in Ghana, Ella Cummings lied about it. They want to discuss something. It had to do with foreigners. That's the only time Liberians go out of the country to discuss political issues. From the time of the war to this very day, no Liberian leave the country to discuss issues that, that they can discuss in the country among themselves. Whenever they leave Liberia to go to Ghana, Nigeria, and other places, they go to meet foreigners to discuss the fate and future of the West African Republic of Liberia and the Liberian people. Secondly, Alec Cummings ain't got to make up their minds. You got to make up your minds. You won't be bitter enemies, you'll be bitter enemies. But you'll take your shenanigans and you'll do it on your own time. You'll try to stop playing with us, man. We ain't got time for this BS. We want serious, serious leadership in that direction. The time of the Liberian people is now. Aluta! Continua. I rest my keys on this matter. I will take a break and I will start with my second time. <laughs> Before I play this video, I just want to let you know my show is not a political show, but my show is a community show. Michael Solomon is running for mayor of the city of Providence. Michael Solomon is a philanthropist. He's a friend of the African community and the Liberian community inclusive. Michael Solomon, with what he's done for our community and other communities, I know, is a leader of our city. He could have been mayor of the city of Providence if he wanted to a long time ago. We have been behind him. Mike, you should be, you should be mayor. You should be mayor because of all what you do for the citizens 
and residents of the city of Providence, Rhode Island. So Mike is the owner of um, the rib joint, the rib joint on, on in Onivator. Um You know the ribs, Chris. I can't remember it, the name. Uh, what 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 is this name then? Y'all know the ribs, Chris, in Providence and Onivator. It's a it's a it's, it's an icon of the Providence community, a staple of the kind everybody know and, and where the rib drum is and Michael Solomon. So, and it's good eating too. Good, good eating. I think they're doing some renovation right now. When they open it again, go there and make sure you get you test the out that rib. It's killer, it's killer for everything else. Okay, so Mike is known for his food, man. He's a big restauranter. I, I think that's the right pronunciation. Don't get me wrong, I'm from Africa. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you can't that way to get away. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay now. So Mike is running. And that is the reason why we support him, Mike. Because of his great efforts that he has offered to our community. The help, the assistance. Anytime you call Mike, he's always there. Mike just sent my to his donation for my program in Ghana. Last yesterday when I saw him that first thing he asked me, you got my check? I said, yeah, I got your check, man. Thank you. So these are the people in our community that we should stand behind aside from politics. Anything they do when they put their names up, we gotta stand behind it because they've been there with us. From the time we're struggling to get a justice in this society, from the time we're educating our members coming from Liberia during the war, who had no means of, of, of adjusting to this society, no schools to go to, Mike and Joe Newsom and all these people were people that we turned to that opened doors for us. You know, our, our, our senators, our, our, congress, our congressional leaders, and Jack Reed and and, and, and Landy Van and, 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 and Sister Lini and, and and Washington White House, all these people were instrumental. So this is Mike's time. He has decided finally to step to the plate to lead the city of Providence. And as our philanthropists and our friend of the community, it behooves this institution support his effort as he has supported us from time and more. Mike, we got your back. So just watch this video. I recorded this video yesterday during his meeting. Okay? I would just want you to know that there were a lot of people there before I left when I was leaving. But I did this video uh, say in the early part of the show because the, the, the cameraman had not come yet. They had this photographer, professional man coming. So he wasn't there yet. So I just thought to take pictures and run a video. So in case people leave, they can see my share of the video to see themselves in it. And that was exactly what happened. Some people left before the photographer came. So they would have the opportunity to see themselves in the video. So this is why we are supporting Michael Solomon for mayor of the city of Providence. Please check out this video and uh, I hope you enjoy it.
and his supporters got to meet and greet each other. And as I was leaving that place, it was crowded. I just did that video early, and um, I had to get out of there. So I just want to wish Mike Solomon the best and let you all know why we support him, Mike, and why we need to join in and give him our support. He is a philanthropist and a good man of the community. He supports our efforts. And it's time for us to support him. The time of the Liberian people <clears throat> is now. I take a break and I'll be back for my final topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, the friends of Rodney Chesson on the Budaborn refugee camp in Ghana started the vocational baking school. I have the video here. You see them all in their class. Uh, I think there were 16 or more in there with one male. The class is on. And it is all because of your support your financial support and belief in me to carry on this initiative. 
I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We still have more to do now. We still have more to do. We got the other, we got the other classroom to finish. That one is more, there's more need in that one. We got to do the wall. We got to do the zinc. We got to plaster the floor. We got to buy the machines. We got to buy the, 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 the computer classroom. We got to hook that up. But I want you to see the video this morning of the students in school. The vocational baking school has started. By the help of God, we have been blessed to start this school. And by the grace of God, it will continue and get stronger and get better. So let me take a minute and put this video on so you can see it. Let me take myself out of the screen, put this video on so you can see it and see the good thing that's going on. Friend, ready, Jesse? Is he a student? How about he asked you now? Is he ready? Is he ready? Is he a student? Is it, this one, Anita Grill? Anita Grill. Oh, Tina Grill, yes. I'm a student. As you see there, you see soldier, you see Tina. You see female, you see male there? You see men there, money woman? I'm coming. I want to make the money session. You see in there? So you see baking. Then now, the next one, you see what? The photo V image there. They say what? Date commence. So that, that, the date started. Fifth. A child of the The coach of the So you go out April 25th. 2002. I mean, over the over the school today, only Charlie Boy. 2002. Hello. Hi. Look here. Yeah, everything. 2022. Oh, you are too busy. Why are you here? So you have to see. The book where you have to see the system where you are. Let's see. The boy, what they want for writing? Now, as you see here, hey, you school. Subject. This. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, so today part is a considerable day today. We're today. But starting from from Wednesday, tomorrow will be just and technical only people. Now, yes, very well because you want to learn to your your phone is. Yes, okay. Yeah. Then yes, the yes. last one is said being completed. The time will finish. They will all be put in there in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So you thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, too late. At the wedding this morning, can see them ready. Friends of Randy Chelsea, let me show you. Friends of Randy Chelsea. If you get put it a day, you do it a day. Yes, yes, yes. Then it's over. So you're baking? So you're baking. Yeah, date. Start. Yeah. April. Yeah. 25th. 25th. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I have seen it. 8 a.m. Uh -huh. So that time will be starting 8 a.m. What to 12. What today is considering today in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, because you put our models. Now, as we'll be sitting right here, we're going to face our goal for pressing time in, time out. I'm, I'm going to well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was the school started today, the baking school for friends of Rodney Chesson on the board, Buddha Born Refugee Camp in Ghana. <clears throat> Thanking the Lord and thanking our sponsors and those that donated money. We're still asking you <clears throat> for donations so we can start the sewing in the computer school. Cash app. Jefferson Chesson. You got Zell. It's K A R R O D C H E S at gmail.com. If you got Zell, that's my email. K A R R O D. C H E S 
at gmail.com. Send your donation. We'll make good use of it. We'll train these young people and they will be of use to our community and the world in the future. We thank you. My class is done. I hope you enjoy my class today. I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Thank you ever so much for joining us and have a good day.